injury sustained during physical activity is one of the leading reasons why people stop being physically active. Lateral ankle sprains in particular are the most common musculoskeletal injury that is sustained in sport, uh, in military service, and in general life. One of the biggest problems we have is we don't get enough people in to be treated. They just perceive the injuries as minor, and once that initial pain and swelling goes away, they go back to, to normal activities. Most treatments focus on ankle sprains as a local injury. The larger body of evidence shows that ankle sprains are a, a broader neuromechanical injury that impacts local tissues, but really the overall neuromuscular system and even how the brain controls our muscles to create movement. One of the big things we've done is look at these neural mechanisms from a multi-level perspective. It's very unlikely that any treatment would impact one level of the neuromuscular system and one level only. So by assessing changes at the brain, at the spinal, and in the peripheral level, not only can we measure those individually, but we can also look at the interactions among them. When I first got started in research, we were using technologies to capture movement patterns, but not the neural mechanisms. I think that goes to show how much the field has really moved in the last 15 to 20 years. We have a much better understanding that an ankle sprain is not just a local injury, but it really impacts the body as a whole. If we can make progress at better treating these injuries and preventing secondary or subsequent injuries, there's a good chance that we can keep people physically active and they can get the benefits of physical activity.